In this tutorial, I'll explain how to get started with the university's virtual learning environment, or VLE, sometimes known as Moodle. So to open the VLE, you need to go to the university homepage. So open www.glindor.ac.uk. Scroll down to the bottom of the page until you see the area called Students. And then click on the link to the My Uni portal, which is relevant to your location. So we've got Wrexham, London or Distance Learners, which also includes our partners and franchise students. I'm going to click on My Uni Wrexham. And on whichever portal you get to, you should see a link to VLE, brackets Moodle. So you click on there and this opens the virtual learning environment. On the right hand side, you'll see the login area. So use your usual university ID and password. There's also a link here in case you've lost your password. And if you can't remember your ID, you could always contact the library and IT service desk. On the front page, you should see links to the courses that you are enrolled on. Please note that you won't see your courses the first time you log in. You will need to wait 24 hours before you see them. This is because we take the data from the student record system and that gets updated overnight. So don't panic if when you go in for the first time, you cannot see your courses. Towards the top, you'll see an area related to your academic school, for example, applied science, computing and engineering here. You may see a department site and you'll also see a program site near the top. So here, MSc Learning and Technology. Underneath those areas, you'll see the modules that you were enrolled on. The most recent ones for the current academic year will be near the top and modules for previous academic years will be underneath those. Towards the bottom you'll see any support sites that you are enrolled on and that will include student administration and also a support site relevant to your location for example Wrexham. If I clicked on there I would see links to all the support sites that are relevant to me as a Wrexham learner. So one way of getting to your course is, is from the front page, clicking on the link to the course. Another way is to use this drop down list at the top called My Courses. Again, you'll see your academic school and department possibly near the top, and then your program, your modules followed by any support sites. You can also see your courses by clicking on My Home. And rather than showing you the pictures this time, it lists your courses and it would tell you if there are any upcoming events, for example, an assignment deadline coming up, or new forum posts, for example. You will also see information about upcoming deadlines for online assessment. That's if your tutors are using the virtual learning environment for online assessment on the calendar on this page. And at the top, there's also an events link. If you click here, you'll see any upcoming events that are listed in the VLE and also in calendar format on the right hand side. If we just go back to the home page, another way that, that you should be able to find your courses is using the navigation block. You can click on my courses to expand your list and you can click on the course names from here to get to them. Just go into a course, a typical course, you'll see that the content and any activities on the course are within the section on the left hand side. And on the right hand side you'll see areas that look like boxes that we call blocks. A useful block that's usually towards the top is the accessibility block and this is useful for those users who need to change the appearance of the VLE. You can, for example, increase or decrease the font size and make changes to the background colour. Another typical block that you might see is the latest news block, which is linked to a news forum on the course. And this is a way that the tutor can contact you if they need to. And you'll also see an upcoming events block, which would have links to any upcoming deadlines, if there were any on here, or other events added by your tutor. 
You'll also see the navigation block with links to your other courses if you want to see them and the administration block where you can access your grades. You can also access grades from the this course menu, the drop down at the top. Once you're in a course, there's a link to your grades. Please remember that the grades you see in the VLE may not necessarily be the grades that you are awarded at the end of the module. This is because tutors may give you grades for activities that are not part of a final assessment, but also because even for activities that are assessed, they're always subject to being second marked by a second marker and perhaps by an external examiner as well. So they are subject to change sometimes. On the drop-down list is also a link to people. That would show you a list of people, other students and teachers on your course. And you'll see a link to resources, which would show you any files or other kinds of resources that your tutor has added to a course. And it'd be links to individual activity types, for example, to feedback, where you may be asked to give some feedback on the course via a questionnaire, or forums, where you may be expected to contribute to forum discussions. And you'll see other types of activities here, for example, assignments, quizzes, and so on. Wherever you've gone in a course, you can always get back to the course front page by clicking on the course name in this, what we call the breadcrumb trail at the top. The format being used here is a typical, uh, what we call topics format, where you would just scroll down to see the content, and then in order to see the content behind it or the activity, you would just click on the link. Just to show you another kind of format that might be used, just go to the student administration page. This is a different kind of format where you'd see pictures and then you click on the link and then you'd see the content behind that section. If this kind of format is being used, you can also use the navigation block to jump around between the different sections. Another link at the top that is useful for you is the help link. This takes you to the VLE support for students site, which also uses this grid format. And if you click on the links here, you'll see information about the kinds of activities you may be asked to complete in Moodle and links to how-to guides. From here, you can also change the language if you want to, to change to Welsh. This icon here, hide blocks, is quite useful. If you want to have a better view of the things on your screen, you can hide the blocks and then show the blocks again. You can also choose to go full screen and then switch back to standard view. The VLE is responsive, so this should work and scale down on mobile devices and tablets, for example. Finally, on the top right, you'll see a drop down menu by your name where you can view and edit your profile and look at things, for example, badges that you've been awarded and your own calendar. On the top left, you'll see a link to messages and you'll see any messages that you've been sent via the VLE. Usually you would also receive a copy of this to your student email account as well. If you have a problem using the VLE, we would usually say that your first point of contact is your tutor, who's usually the person who set up the resources and activities on your course. You can also refer to this VLE support for students site. And of course, you can always talk to the library and IT service desk. So that's how to get started with the VLE.